Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Create Studio to customize your instant spokesperson videos and not only be able to add all the information that you need, but to do it with more flair and faster than you can normally do it inside most video editing programs. And so from here on the home screen, we're gonna start off by creating a brand new project. And so here's our new project, and I'm gonna call this, uh, oh, let's call it theater, because we're gonna use that same video. Okay, we can choose what size we want it to be. I want it to be 1080p. And the background can be black for now, that's fine. We're gonna hit create new project. And here's our project right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out and we're gonna grab our home theater video here again. We're gonna bring that in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you can do your instant spokesperson videos in here quickly, easily, and with more flair than you would with a traditional video editor a lot easier and more quickly, okay? So we're gonna take our video and we're gonna bring it in here. And this is our instant spokesperson video. Now, we're gonna come in and we're going to modify this just like we would in a video editor, but we're gonna do something even better. Because in the video editor, usually we keep it very simple. Well, keeping it simple is not what this is all about, so we're gonna make this really cool. We're gonna come back here. We're gonna find where that contact us comes in. So right about there, it starts to fade in. So that will be when we wanna fade in our stuff. So maybe somewhere right about there. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I'm gonna put a phone number and a website. So I'm gonna click up here on the little T button. And when I do, you'll see it puts a layer right in here. And we're gonna want this to go all the way to the end. And we're gonna to want to, first of all, we're gonna to wanna to change this. We're gonna give it a phone number of 888-888-8888, my favorite number for whatever reason. I think I need one more eight there. There we go. And now I'm gonna change this color to, uh, Oh, let's do like a dark red just so we can see it, okay? Now, in here you can choose your color type that you want, but you can also change this to be different fill types. You can have a radial gradient, you can have a linear gradient, or the solid color that we have now. Now, before we get into that, what I wanna do is I want to, uh, first of all, move this into the right position. So I'm gonna put that maybe right about here, okay? And I'm gonna change this font because what we wanna have is something that's a little bolder so we can actually see what we're gonna do next. So now we've got this nice bold one in here, okay? And now what we wanna do is um, we're gonna come back out and, whoops, let me select that again there, sorry. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a couple of things. One, we're gonna add motion, but two, we're gonna change this color a little bit because remember I said we had gradients? Well, now that we got this nice and thick and we can see, let's click this linear gradient and see what happens, okay? So you see now it kind of fades from this red down to almost an opaque uh, gray. And that's the type of stuff that you can do with this. You can actually add a linear filter. And if we drag this, you'll see that it changes the way that works. Very, very cool, very easy to make some really neat effects just by dragging this around, okay? And of course we can actually come in here and we can change the secondary color as well. So we could have it fade from a dark to a light, and boy, that starts to really look good when we do that. I like that a lot, okay? Now, the other thing we wanna to add to this, we've got the phone number, is we're gonna put the website, we're gonna do is we're gonna add a second piece of text here. We'll put that down here. And we'll put the website in there again. Okay, and this time we're gonna take that and we're gonna shrink that down just a little bit somewhere around there, and we're gonna change that color. Again, we can do that gradient if we want to. So we can choose for our first color, the red, and then for the second one, the bright red. And again, we can just move the, let's see, grab that line there. There we go, that's what we want. Move that there, grab this one, and whoops. There we go. My fumble fingers keep grabbing the wrong thing. There we go. And so now we've got our website and our phone number. In fact, I would make our phone number probably a little bit bigger just to make it stand out a little more. Bring that down like that. And so now we've got our phone number and our website into the video here. Whoops, zoom back out. Okay, and so now we can go back over here. We can play And that allow out. you to get enhanced video and sound. Okay. And so very easily and quickly, we've added the phone number and the website, but of course, we wanna make this look really cool. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to add some animation to this very quickly and very easily. And this is where this program gets fun. So we're going to start off with our, our phone number here. And we're going to come up here to this tab called Motion. And you'll notice right here, in, out. Nice and easy. So we could use a slide if we wanted to. And if you want to see how any of these look, watch the C up here. Slide right. Whoop, so it slides to the right. Slide to the left. Slide from to the bottom. Slide to the top. Okay, you can backslide right. Now watch, see it goes a little further and then kind of falls back into place. Same thing with all these. You can do bounce. Okay. And you can do elastic. All right, so for me, I kind of like... Uh, Kind of like that. I think that works pretty good, except I'm going to do it from the left so it doesn't go over our actor here. And so I'm going to do backslide left and turn that on. And then I'm going to come to our website and I'm going to do the same thing. Backslide left, turn that on, just like so. And so now if we go back and we play this. You to get enhanced video and mm. sound experience. And so now, very quickly and very easily, we've got animated text on here, okay? So you can literally do your instant spokesperson videos right inside this program and do some really, really cool stuff, okay? Now, inside of our instant spokesperson videos, oftentimes, we also put information on here. And so we can do a few things to make that stand out. I'm going to start off, I'm going to go back to the beginning here. And there we go. We're going to put, on the bottom, we're going to put a little bar. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add in a lower third bar with that same information that we put in the end with the phone number and the website. And so what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to click on this here and we're going to choose this box. Now you can choose other types of graphics that are in here. It comes with a bunch of them. But all we need right now is just the little box here. Okay, and so there's our box. And what we want to do is we want to resize this and put it at the bottom. Now you can click this button right here and that's going to fill it all the way to the sides. And then we can just shrink it down like this, slap it on here just like so. Now for me, actually I'm going to center that up a little bit there. For me, I'd rather have this be a black box. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to turn that black. We could also do a gradient if we wanted to, which could be a little bit more fun. Uh, we could come in and we could do this and we could even make this somewhat more invisible like that okay and that can be kind of fun to do uh, we could also take that and whoops let's go back there sorry I clicked the wrong thing there let's try that again back to our settings we could grab our little settings bar here and we could do it this way instead and go up and down like so kind of make it semi-transparent as it goes down like that and that can be kind of nice too. So you can do all sorts of fun things with this and it's very quick and easy to do. It doesn't require a ton of skill to be able to do this. Okay, and so now we're gonna go back and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put text on top of this. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna choose text this time. And that's gonna put text on there. And I'm gonna bring that down and put it somewhere in there. Now to me, that's just massive and huge. So we're gonna make that a lot smaller. And then we're going to come in here and we're going to type our phone number again, 888-888-8888. And we'll put a couple of spaces in there, maybe put a little bar in between. And we'll put uh, www.website.com. Okay. And so there you go. So we now have a nice image with that on there. Now, of course, we want to center that up, so we would bring that out to the center. And by the way, if you want to center the whole thing up here, there are some buttons to do that up here. If you click that, it's going to make sure it's in the center. Same thing for up and down. It's going to put it in the center of the screen. Obviously, we don't want it in the center of the screen. We want it in here. There is guides on there as well that you can see popping up there when we're in the center of what we're doing. So this is the center of that bar. Okay. And again, we can click this to make sure that we're in the right spot there. And so that's how easy it is to add that. Now, of course, we want to animate this as well. So we're going to start off with our bar. And again, we're going to go to motion. And let's try something different this time. Maybe we will do, um, well, we don't want to do like a slide and rotate because this is big and long and it'll look like a propeller. But um, we can do slide and scale maybe. We'll take a look at what that kind of looks like there. So it looks like that. That's kind of cool. Okay, and so maybe we'll do one of those. 
So let's try this one out here because I think that one would be kind of cool. So we'll add that there. So now if we hit play. Over the next few moments, I'm going to talk with you about how installing a new. Nice and easy, very simple. And just kind of flies up like that. And then maybe what we'll do is with our text, maybe we'll bring our text out just a little bit here. So it starts a little bit later, you know. So we'll drag it out here to somewhere right about here. And now we can go in with our text and we can do the same type of thing. This time maybe we'll use one of the skew, which are kind of fun. We like some of those. So the skew left is good. So I'm going to choose that. Okay, and you can see how it skews in there. And so now if we go back to the beginning, we're going to see our bar come up and then our text come up on top of that. Over the next few moments, I'm going to talk with you about how okay. installing a new home theater system can be a whole new source of entertainment. And now what we can do is this bar right here is actually going to zoom our timeline. And so we can zoom this back a little bit so we can see the whole thing. And this is where our ending is. So now we're going to take this and we're going to bring this all the way to our end. Notice that it snaps right to that. So we don't even have to sit there and try to fumble. It's going to snap right to it. Boom. Make that line. So as I get close, boom, it's going to snap right to that. Okay. And so now at the end, it's going to go from this to our end screen. So we probably want to animate this out as well. So let's do that. We're going to choose our bar and this time we're going to hit motion and we're going to go to out and we're going to say, oh, let's see what this one do here. Whoop, something like that. That could be fun. So we'll do that. And then for our text, maybe we will just have it, uh, we'll do slide and scale just like that. Okay. And so now at the end of our video here, or before the, uh, the end portion of our video, if we hit play here. The mounting and set up your new home theater and allow you to get enhanced video and sound right. experience. Pretty cool. Very, very simple to do. Anybody can do this. This isn't like After Effects where you're going to have to do keyframing and, you know, understand all the different tools. Anybody can come in here and do this. So that's our instant spokesperson videos put together very, very quickly, but also with some really cool animation done right from scratch. So this is a great program for that, a great program for doing all of those other animations. Now, I want you to also know there's other things in here as well. So we've got an advanced section here, and this is where we can add things like borders, shadows, and skew. Okay, so if we wanted to mess with our phone number here, we could come in here and we could go to border, and uh, you know maybe we'll make, the, uh, we'll make the border black, just like so. And we'll make a width on this, Boop. okay? And you can make it dashed if you want. I know you probably can't see that around the eight, put a dash space there. But you can see it kind of puts that dotted line around it, okay? So you can do all sorts of cool things like that to it, just like so. And you can choose your color. So if you wanted to change that to maybe just a dark red, you could do that, okay? And just makes things stand out. You can also add shadows to it, which, by the way, as silly as it sounds, there are so many programs that don't bother with the shadow thing, and that kills me. This one has it built in, and we love that. So you can see if I just do a blurry, you can see it adds a blurry shadow to it. We can offset that shadow, just like so. Make it a drop shadow. And blur it out even further or even less, depending on what you want. But the fact that that's built in there like that, that makes things so much easier. And so that's how you'd set that up. Of course, once you're done, you can save this and you see it saved. You can also publish it. Coming in here, you can choose your destination and then export your video out. Okay, I'm gonna close that for now. We're gonna go back to 